Hey guys, um, I made a lot of videos these past couple days, so hopefully this won't be too many, but I don't think that's even, that's not even, that's not even a thing. So anyway, um, I just wanted to make this video this morning and kind of, um, spread some cheer. Um, it's, it's a rainy morning and hopefully my windshield wipers aren't too annoying. Um, but, um. I remembered my hoodie today. I'm super glad about that. I've got a Chesapeake College hoodie, and um, I'm super, super stoked about that too. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm pretty pretty stoked in general. Um, I'm still getting over this like head cold thing. Um, I am getting some good, some more of that phlegm to come out. <laughs> Sorry, and um, I'm taking Tylenol, and I bought some Tylenol for myself, so. I'm not gonna run out and um, I'm drinking plenty of water and stuff to help it to go away you know and that's helping uh, I ate a healthy breakfast this morning um, they say you're not supposed to eat a lot of sugar in the morning because it's not good for your for your mental health um, because sugar can raise your um, there's some kind of signs to it um, I got from Jordan Peterson but um, it's just not really good for you it raises your uh, flight or flight, fight or flight senses, I think, something like that. But um, yeah, it's good to eat like a protein dense um, breakfast with no carbs. I actually ate two pieces of toast, but I'm not even gonna like sit around and just worry about my life like that at all. <laughs> um, you know, but um, yeah, so you shouldn't eat a lot of sugar or carbs in the morning for breakfast. And if you don't, then you'll be in better shape in your mine will be in better shape to take on the day so that's my helpful tip i'll see you later just kidding <laughs> um but yeah it you know it's wednesday it's a rainy day it's a rainy morning this is um i am very thankful because i have i have been feeling the spirit in my life a lot lately and i definitely intend to feel it more and more the holy spirit and um it's definitely been a journey because, you know, I've been, I've made some mistakes in recent times and, um, have, you know, been through some struggles and stuff like that. And when you go through those struggles, you don't always feel the spirit like you do, um, at other times. And so I'm just thankful for the spirit and I'm thankful that I have, and this is what I've noticed recently. I have a good outlook on things, even if, and this sounds so basic, but um, it's it's actually super um, super um, what's the word? It's it's super relevant. Um, I've had an optimistic. I've had a good perspective on things despite the weather, and because this weather can be really rough, this and weather can get to you. Weather can definitely get to you, right? I mean a bright sunshiny day it makes you happy you're much more likely to be smiling you got some sunglasses on or something you go outside you're happy for the most part you know not all the time but you know in general more so than not and the same for when it's rainy or dreary it's like oh such a blah day i don't really feel like doing anything I feel kind of depressed it's such a depressing weather the weather's depressing or, you know i just want to go to sleep or whatever which is fine Oh, they're putting a new stoplight here. That seems horrible. <laughs> they're putting another stoplight there. Oh, great. Thanks. That's what we all need. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's just what we need, guys. Sounds great. Might as well put one there. I mean, might as well put one here. Might as well put one here, too. No. But, you know, it's it's good. It's good to have a positive outlook on things, you know. And um, it definitely goes a long way. I know that. And um, it shapes the trajectory of your day, how you how your day goes in a lot of ways. So um, I just encourage you guys right now. There's a dude walking to Chipotle on the side of the road. He works there. And it's rainy. And he doesn't have a hat on. He's just wearing his Chipotle t-shirt. I hope that guy starts wearing a jacket or something um you know i wish my windshield wasn't so creaky it's not like i'm running the wipers when the windshield's not wet the windshield is way wet so stop creaking just need the wipers that's all but um 
yeah, it's it's good to be it's good to have a good outlook on things. It makes a big difference. So I'm excited. I'm I'm you know I nor I normally would be sweating bullets and just like beside myself, but luckily I've broken the spell. I've broken the spell of something. So you know, and it's not to be misunderstood, and I don't need to misunderstand either. Um, I have been focused on getting the best of grades that I can get in school. Absolutely pertinent. Absolutely, that's actually absolutely a great goal. But yesterday I was writing down and some th thinking about things, thinking about focus and what where my focus is at with school and what I'm focusing on and things like that, you know. And um, I asked, I just asked myself some questions. I just wrote down some thoughts out of my mind real quick onto the paper, so I could look at them a little better. I highly recommend that. Write your thoughts out so you can see them. Instead of trying to think about them all and trying to like mentally manage them all, that's that's nonsense. Don't try to sit there and mentally manage everything. Write the stuff out so you can process it better, so you can make better sense of it. Like if you write it out, you're helping yourself out in so many ways. I just wrote simple things. Uh, what am I focusing on? Am I focusing on getting good grades? Am I focusing on doing my best? Am I focusing on learning? These are all good questions. And the reason I wrote them out was to help myself because I've been a little bit too focused on perfection, a little bit too focused on perfection, and that is not the right place to focus. Perfection is not a healthy focus because perfection is not easily, it's not, it's not really something that you can acquire. You can't really acquire perfection. I don't care if you have a 4.0 and 100% on every assignment. That's still not perfect because what's your mental health like? What's your family like? Your social life? Your church life? Your whatever? What's your exercise game looking like, right? Now, and even even if you're doing perfect in all those things, I don't think you exist. You're not even real, so don't even talk to me. You're lying. But um, the point is you can't be perfect. So I realized the other day, and I have been a little bit behind. I missed, I missed, I missed um, class on Monday because I wasn't feeling well, and I lost points on an assignment, but in the long run, it's not going to hurt me too bad, um, but I've been behind in my reading. I have I have a test coming up in, in statistics class on Thursday, tomorrow, and, you know, I, I don't feel the best about it, but I feel, I feel, I feel as good as I can, you know, in other words, I'm not going to run myself through a cheese grater in order to do amazing on this test. I'm going to do the best that I can with what I have, and I'm going to learn from my mistakes. Uh, I'm, in other words, I, and, and I don't, I'm not being irresponsible, like, going into taking this test feeling like, I don't know anything about this test. I'm just going to fail it. I don't even care. No, that's not what I'm talking about at all. I'm just talking about, and I hope I do get a good grade on it. Hopefully, I'll do, hopefully I'll do pretty well. And I intend to do everything I can to be as ready as I can for that test in general. But that's going on. Uh, I've got an outline going on in, in psychology class, which I'm super excited about, and I love that class. Um, but there's just been a lot going on lately. I'm good in freshman seminar class, but in my history class, this is where I'm struggling a bit. I'm struggling, but I'm not struggling. I'm actually not struggling, which is the, the, the be beautiful thing. And I would normally be so totally freaking out at this point. So we have Monday reading to do, and then we have Wednesday reading to do. I told you guys this before, but um, if you don't do both days of readings, then when Wednesday rolls around and you take the quiz, you might not be ready. You're not really going to be ready for the quiz, most likely. And so it's a struggle. you got to do your reading to be ready for the, for the quiz. And I've not done my reading. And I have class in an hour and a half. And I there's not really any way I'm going to be able to finish my reading. So um, I'm going to do the best that I can. I'm going to go and I'm going to read what I can. And I think that it will be smart. If I looked at the topics and kind of skimmed them, that would be a good idea. But the point is, I'm not going to kill myself in order to, you know, try to, try to get a perfect score. You know what I mean? I'm going to do the best I can. And, and all the other hard work that I've poured out thus far has paid off phenomenally. I have great grades in all my classes. I'm doing great in all my classes. And I have nothing to worry about. Um, I am I'm paying attention in class. I'm taking notes. I'm studying every day. I'm doing the work. I'm going to the library. Um, I'm talking to it. I'm seeking it. I'm seeking tutors. Um, things like that. You know what I mean? So I'm not worried. And But the difference is, and the point is, 
is that I have learned a valuable lesson. And that valuable lesson is, don't, I mean, I started out doing my best, and I did do my best, and I have done my best, and I'm still doing my best. That's the secret. But I learned to stop trying to focus on perfection. Stop trying to focus on doing it all perfectly. Because that is just not, it's not attainable. And you're gonna drive yourself nuts. And you know what? You can get better grades and learn less. I found that out, yeah, it's true. You can get better grades and learn less. So you can read to pass the test, or you can read to understand what you're reading. And I have changed that, and I'm reading to understand what I'm reading. And I will do just fine, I will be just fine. It doesn't matter the way things go, it will be just fine. And um, I'm gonna get great grades, I'm gonna do great. And um, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not worried about it anymore. So I'm just gonna keep doing the best I can, and uh, you know, that's it. The ships fall where they may. Um, and this is not to be misunderstood. As I said before, it's like a blase attitude or like a passive attitude or like a whatever man will care kind of attitude. Not at all. It's just a matter of doing, it's just a matter of being healthy, honestly. And I wish this dude would just stop riding my butt as he passes me. If you're gonna pass me, pass me. Don't ride my butt as you pass me, buddy. Um, but, you know, um, so it's, it's good. There's a lot of good things going on right now. And I love school. I, I'm loving, I love this weather. I'm excited for this day. I'm excited for what how this day goes. I'm very interested and fascinated by this day. And regardless of how the quiz goes today, regardless of my reading, um, there's going to be a lesson in history class, which I'm excited about. I, I love I love my teacher. I love his lessons. And I'm super excited and happy about that. So it's going to be great. And um, the sweater weather. I got my hoodie. I'm excited about that. I'm glad to have my, my hoodie. Hoodies just give you a sense of comfort, and I just have not been on that level in a long time, honestly, because I'm trying to remember what I wore when I was dashing last year, but um, it's just way different, you know? It's just way different, and it's just different like when you're in school than the door dashing. It's not different for me because, you know, you're sitting in class for a while, and if it's chilly, hey, you got to get through that chilliness, and it's going to suck. But if you've got a hoodie, you're in good shape. This is so basic, but it's still a big deal. <laughs> anyway, it's a big deal, you know, if you're not wearing the stuff you need to wear, it's gonna suck. Anyway, I love I love my hoodie, I'm happy to have it. I'm super thankful for this time of year. And last but not least, um, this is something that I wanted to share. I thought about this yesterday. Um, God never ceases to amaze me and surprise me and even even though I've been here for 35 years, and I have been, which is a long time, well, not that long, anyway, <laughs> been here for 35 years, and I've just been, you know, experiencing life, and you see the seasons come, and you see the seasons go, and I'm at the point now where this, the years are going by quicker, and they're noticeably good, they're going by noticeably quicker. And it's great, and it, they're not going by quicker in a, in a bad way. They're going by quicker in a good way, which is weird, but good. It's just good, <laughs> but it's crazy. Um, anyway, what I'm getting at is it's it's fall. It's it's already it's already officially fall. It's September 21st. That's the, when fall begins, I believe. So it's technically already fall. I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, I think it starts in September. But um, this thing happens around this time of year, right? Everything starts to change. Think about that. Not just the seasons, but everything. One way or another, you know, it kind of, everything kind of starts to change. And, you know, I'm used to seeing the beautiful seasons, the changing seasons here, the leaves changing in Maryland. So it's so beautiful, but I'm used to it, and I've been used to this to the season. I'm used to the fall. I'm used to the ebbs and flows of life, and each year has gotten better, especially since joining the church. Easy, more easily to more easy to manage, more easy to make sense of. Yes, things will be busy. Yes, I will be busy. But things are more; they remain 
more consistent and less turbulent. That's what I notice. Things become less turbulent or have become less turbulent, thankfully. And, um, but anyway, um, I'm just caught off guard by this change, this the beauty of nature, the beauty of God's creative ability, because the seasons are changing, but I was just caught off guard yesterday as I was observing it and taking it in and just being like, wow, this is really amazing. And God is really, you know, he is, he's an amazing artist, but it's just, this is just amazing. I just, I just love this. You know, I was just thinking those things and I am so thankful for this time of year. I'm so thankful for sweater weather, for cooler weather, the comfort that comes this time of year. There's so much comfort to be found. Stay close to your loved ones. Stay close to your loved ones. Stay close to your friends. Stay close to your family. Stay close to everyone. Don't leave people alone. Don't leave people behind. Don't abandon people. And don't go it alone. Don't lone dog it at all, ever. Especially this time of year. Don't lone dog. Don't don't lone dog anything. You know, lone wolf anything. You know, lone dog. <laughs> um, but lone dog sounds like a lone company. Lone dog. <laughs> but twenty four seven service. Um, but make sure you stay close with people. Make sure you stay in the warmth. That's my. That's the secret, and I'm just sharing it with you guys now. Throughout this winter, fall coming, fall and the winter that's coming, stay in the warmth. You have to stay warm. That's the secret. Why do you think people always ask you that all the time? Can you stay in warm? Can you stay in warm? You know? Yes, you better stay warm. You have to stay warm. Do whatever it takes to stay warm. You're gonna have to think outside the box sometimes. You're gonna have to do things differently. You're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone, but you have to stay warm. No one can afford to stay, you know, no one can afford to, no one can afford to stay by themselves because it's too cold alone. The road alone is too cold. So don't go it alone, okay? Stick with your friends. Stick with your family. Don't lose sight of community. Don't lose sight of that comfort of your friends and family because we all need it so bad. And anyway, wow, I get my first green arrow. Oh, shucks, it just turned yellow. I'm gonna go anyway. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Oh, shoot, too late. Ah! Just ran a red arrow, but it's okay. Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, that was a joke. That was a joke that used to... Um, I had a friend in the past who used to make that joke when they had... They were driving the van with all their kids and they'd be driving crazy and they'd hit a huge speed bump or something and all the kids would be bouncing around and be freaking out and everything. And they'd be, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And then the, the mom would be driving. She'd be like, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just keep on driving. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's like, meanwhile, the wheels are falling off. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Um, I just have arrived at school and there's two squirrels chasing each other, which is awesome. Um, and a bunny over there or another squirrel but yeah it's going to be a really great day i'm super excited i hope you guys make the most of this day too no pressure though i i'm not going to try to sit here and put pressure on you guys like i'm not going to be like all right let's go let's get this get this get this day let's take advantage of this day let's put our best foot forward you know i'm not going to try to those are great ideas and i definitely encourage you but i'm not going to sit here and force you guys or like say you know you better do this. In other words, take it easy. I need to take it easy. I can't afford not to. I don't think anyone else can either. So, let's just do what we need to do and and, and have a great day because it is going to be a great day whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, anyway, but enjoy the day i hope you i hope you can't stand it i hope it's so good you can't stand it that'd be so awesome anyway have a great day there's my beautiful library over there hey yay